Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, the veterans of Western Armenia as an example. The legal monument of the genocide against Armenians in the El Madag Armenian Cemetery. Peacekeepers restore monuments to victims of the Great Patriotic War in Artsakh. The European Parliament to hold a debate on the immediate return of Armenian captives. Grigory Garasin highlights OSCE Minsk Group co-chair's role in Nagorno-Karabakh conflict settlement. European Weightlifting Championships. Armenia finished third in medal standings. 155th birthday anniversary of Vertanes Papazian. Interview with writer publicist Mari Barsegian Khanjian. The day was exceptional, not only for the reason that the meeting of Armenian veterans took place in Cairns on this Friday, April 9, 2021, but also for the quality of the meeting and the guests present. Mandelier, Cairns, Antibes, among other municipalities, were presented with their elected officials, flag bearers and presidents, Jean-Jacques Guy, president of Patriotic Unions, as well as the president of the Armenian region, Caroline Ohanisian. After the opening ceremony, moral and activity evaluation, the cashier presented the accounts of association, which were unanimously confirmed by those present and members. Let us note that the main event was the Sword of Western Armenia medal that was given to the head of the Flag Bearers Association, Jean-Jacques Guy, and the municipal advisor of Antibes, Gerard Lacoste, both are members of the Assembly of Western Armenia, by the president of the Association of Armenian Veterans and Resistors, Jean Ghazarosyan, Varej Abrahamian, President of the National Association of Armenian Veterans, to serve the homeland. The medalists thanked the President and the Assembly for their speeches, reminding them of the conditions under which they were able to work for the benefit of the Armenian people, who have suffered from its history. The general meeting of the Association of Veterans and Resistors of Armenian Origin will be closed in accordance with the health rules and the epidemic situation. There is a marble monument in Constantinople of the genocide committed against Armenians, which is the first dedicated to the memory of victims of the 1915 massacre. It was built in 1919 in the Pengelt Armenia Cemetery near Taksim Square in Constantinople, dismantled within the Ottoman Empire and disappeared in 1922 during the occupation of Constantinople. After the completion of the preparatory work of the commission set up for the construction of the monument, in 1919 it was placed in the Pengelt Armenia Cemetery. The state had demolished the cemetery and seized the lands in the 1930s. Today, the cemetery is located near Gezi Park in Taksim Square, Istanbul. According to historian Gevork Pamukcan, the foundation of the monument was last seen in the garden of the military barracks in Harbi, where the Military Museum of Constantinople is located. Peacekeepers are restoring monuments to the victims of the Great Patriotic War in Artsakh, the Minister of Defense of Russia reported via Armen Press. This action is carried out by the servicemen of the Humanitarian Response Center of the Russian Peacekeeping Contingent in Artsakh, in cooperation with the administrations of Martagert, Martuni, and Askeran regions. There is a monument from the 60s in the Noragyuk settlement, where the soldiers of the Russian Peacekeeping Corps Humanitarian Response Center arrived on that mission. More than 90 men from that village gave their lives for the freedom of the Soviet people, the Russian Defense Ministry said. The Center for Humanitarian Response has registered 58 monuments in Artsakh, dedicated to the memory of the soldiers who fell on the front in 1941 to 1945. As of today, 29 of them have already been restored. A special discussion of the European Parliament on the issue of immediate release and return of Armenian captives from Azerbaijan will take place on April 12, the Ombudsman of Armenia, Arman Tatoyan, reported. According to him, the speakers will be chair of the EU-Armenia Friendship Group at the European Parliament, Lucas Furlas, chair of the Delegation for Relations with the South Caucasus at the European Parliament, Marina Gali Jurand, the Human Rights Defender of Armenia, Arman Tatoyan, and the Executive Director of European Armenian Federation for Justice and Democracy, Herine Evinyan. In general, 69 captives and civilians have been released from Azerbaijan to this day. While Armenia has transferred 15 people, not only prisoners of war, but also Azeris Shahbaz Guliev and Dilham Askerov, convicted of child murder and other crimes in Artsakh, were among them. Grigory Karasin, chair of the Committee of the Federation Council of Foreign Affairs of Russia, says it is necessary to resume the regular meetings between the Armenian and Azerbaijani foreign ministers under the auspices of the OSCE Miss Group co-chairs. 
In an interview to the Kamersant, Karasin stated that the cessation of bloodshed in Nagorno-Karabakh and the signing of the trilateral statement on November 9, 2020 were possible thanks to the responsible position of Russian President Vladimir Putin. Grigory Karasin noted that the OSCE Minsk Group co-chairs can play a positive role over this matter. Now most of the issues are connected with the humanitarian problems, such as the exchange of the prisoners of war, the return of the bodies of the dead, the refugees and provision of necessary living conditions for them. According to him, a lot depends on how fast it would be possible to restore the trust between the sides. The concrete steps have already been taken. At the initiative of the Russian president, the discussions of political issues continue. They are searching for ways. The Trilateral Commission at the Deputy Prime Minister level is working actively, discussing economic, transportation and logistics related issues, he said. Armenia took third place in the overall medal standings at the European Weightlifting Championships that concluded on Sunday in Moscow. Armenia won two gold, two silver and four bronze medals in combined totals, one Lure Dadaem reports. Ukraine is the first with six medals, four gold, a silver and a bronze. Bulgaria is the second with three gold, three silver and a bronze medal. Karin Avakyan and Samvel Gasparian, Arsen Martirosian and Gorminasian won gold medals, while Andranik Karapetian, Hakob Mkrtian, Liana Georgian and Varas Datlalayan won bronze medals. Vertanes Papazian is Armenian intellectual, writer, social, political, cultural figure, editor, literary historian, teacher and a translator. He moved to Agulis in 1868 where he received his primary education. He studied at the Aramia School of Tabriz at the Georgian Seminary of Echmiadzi and graduated from the University of Geneva. He was a teacher in Ven, Tbilisi, Tehran, Shushi, Bucharest, Bursa, in Central for many years. In 1889, Papazian began publishing a series of short stories and pictures depicting the life of the Armenians of Armenia. Papazian has played a great role in the development of Armenian drama. In his dramas, he put forward national liberation and ideas of free mind. He referred to the folklore and history of different peoples. For the ethnographic High Boshaner study, he was elected Emperor of Moscow, a member of the Ethnographic Society. In 1910, Papazian received an invitation from the Shushi Dyson School. He remained there until 1912. He teaches Armenian language, literature, history, logic. Papazian was persecuted by the Russian government for propagating liberal ideas and he was sentenced to death in absentia in Turkey for his national liberation views. Vertanes Papazian died on April 26, 1920 in Yerevan. He is buried in the Gomitas Pantheon. Writer-publicist Mari Barsagian Khanjian spoke about the worthy appreciation of Armenians living in foreign countries, as well as their scientific potential in Armenia on Western Armenia TV. Referring to the Greek civilization, culture, and famous Greek philosophers, she mentioned that according to her analysis, they were not Greeks, but foreigners, maybe Armenians. Concluding her speech, the publicist said, if you cannot do something for the benefit of Armenia, make sure not to do anything for its damage. Now we present you Sharagan Ensemble. The full version is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.